Hey guys, welcome to Prince of Peace Tarot. I'm Justin and today I will be doing a reading for those of you with Sagittarius placements in your chart. So if you have Sagittarius anywhere within your chart, this reading can resonate with you. And if it does, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. Okay guys, so before I jump into your spread, let's say a prayer. Infinite Creator, Olo Dumare, to my higher self, my Ori, Eshu, Obatala, to the Egun, Marine Laie, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, to my benevolent ancestors, known and unknown, Florian Williams, Norman Williams, Exius Willie, thank you for allowing me to source the most accurate reading for those with Sagittarius placements in their chart. Guys, how you doing? Okay. Okay, let's get into this. I want to say before, you know, we get going, your future is so great. I mean, you have the sun out here, okay, in your second row. I see the nine of pentacles. Um, what else we got? We got nine of pentacles, seven of pentacles, eight of pentacles. Uh, numbers that you guys have, you have 1010 with the 10 of cups in reverse, 10 of wands in reverse. You also have uh, angel number 77 with the seven of pentacles and the upright um, and the seven of wands in reverse. Um, what else do you have? I thought she had two eights. You don't got two eights. Yeah. Oh, and then you have consecutive numbers. Um, seven, eight, and nine. So seven, eighty nine. I don't know. I've never seen that as, as an angel number, you know, but it could very well be. So you might want to look that up. Seven, eight, nine um, for uh, consecutive numbers. But um, guys, here, your first card out is the nine of pentacles. Okay. That's that's hard work. That's gaining um, luxury and status and, 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 and abundance all of your own doing. And how did you get it? How did you get it? From persevering. Seven of Pentacles. For not giving up. Not giving up. Okay? Um, there's an issue you guys are having. It's two issues. <laughs> Maybe three. Okay? Because I forgot about the bottom of the deck. But... Um, there's something to do with your family. I don't know if you have a family member that's having a health issue right now, but we have the Ace of um, Pentacles in reverse next to the Ten of Cups in reverse. I don't know. The way I was, I mean, on a negative end, because it is negative about health. It could be family coming for your money now that you're in this Nine of Pentacles status. But if that's not it, it could be that you have to like actually come out of pocket for something um, because someone's health is bad. You know, or someone's going through some sort of health problem with the uh, Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, okay? Um, in your second row, though, you have the Sun, okay? And the Sun was sitting right underneath your Nine of Pentacles. So you being independent is going to bring you the Sun, which means the Sun is going to be hitting every aspect of your life, okay? Um, then next to the Sun, you have the Eight of Pentacles. You have the Sun, the success because of your hard work and dedication. It's going to take, these were actually sitting right on top of each other, the seven and eight. It's going to take perseverance and hard work and dedication. This is what uh, Spirit is telling you, okay? Because what you're doing is building a very sturdy foundation for yourself. Very, very sturdy foundation. Whether that be um, just for yourself, for your own family, um, or a marriage, whatever the case may be, um, you're, this is going to be successful. You're, you're having harmony, something that's going to last, something that's really going to last. But what's bothering you guys, other than this family issue, is patience. It's patience. It's definitely patience because you have the hangman uh, and then you have in your third row starting out the ten of wands in reverse. So... I feel like you, you're you very uncomfortable, very anxious, waiting. Seven of Pentacles and the hangman is telling me you feel like I've been waiting indefinitely. And the thing is, you very well may be waiting indefinitely. And by that, I mean, there is no timetable right now for when uh, this manifestation or thing you're waiting on is coming through, whether it's a love relationship, new job. I don't know um, what it is. But um, what was I going to say? Uh, you have to let God bring it to you. OK, it's not the only thing you have to do is keep working at it. Hold the intention and focus. There's something 
you, else you're doing that you don't need to be doing. Like, just just focus on what you want and do the things that are in front of you. Like that, okay? Nothing extra to force something to come about, okay? Because uh, they want you to release this burden with the Ten of Wands. Release this burden, okay? Your, your last row feels very uncomfortable. That's what I feel. Look, 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 okay? Because... As it, this is where the uncomfort lead start. It starts here with the hangman, and then it goes ten of wands. I need to release this burden, okay? Page of wands in reverse. I'm feeling hasty. I'm feeling impulsive. All right. Um, these two right here, two of uh, swords and seven of swords in reverse, is indecision. Look at him. He looks like he's pouting. He looks like he's pouting. Like I'm so angry. I'm so upset. You know, I don't I don't feel like waiting, but here it's 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 that's what's going on. And um, another thing, seven of um, wands in the reverse could be asking you to start something over. OK, don't make a hasty decision or uh, um, jump at something too fast. There may be something you need to go back and check. All right. I don't know. I, that, that's a message for somebody. You may not need to make a certain decision without reworking something or um, reevaluating something. OK, so that's what I have for you guys. Um, I would don't don't let uh, don't miss out on opportunities out of uh, impatience and haste. Don't miss an opportunity out of impatience and haste. And when the opportunity comes, you want to be able to make the right decision. Because um, here, your your uh, last two cards are saying that you could make the wrong decision. That you might need to start over and reevaluate something. You know, actually take a look at it instead of pouting. Really think about what it is you want. Think about what you want. Because I think they're asking you to, this pouting... Stop this, think about it, and start over. Rework an idea or a um, thing you're planning on trying to do. I don't know what it is. But really, that's that. Whatever you're doing right in front of you right now that you've been persevering on, you've been working on, something really good is coming of that. That's producing exactly what you want. That's giving you the stability. That is bringing you, this card is beautiful. That's bringing you the sun bringing you the sun. Okay. You guys got this. Um, it's crazy spirit, how uh, certain cards will keep coming out over and over again. Spirit keeps putting out the seven of pentacles on you guys. I don't care what deck I'm using. Seven of pentacles keeps coming out, telling you to persevere. This must be, um, it, it, I, I can tell, I mean, it, it's not the hardest time, but it's hard because you feel like something should be here now. And I know how you feel. You feel like, I mean, I've, I've done enough. I've waited long enough. It should be here. What's taking so long? And then that's what I was, that's what reminded me of uh, the third thing that could be bothering you. You got the Ace of Wands in the reverse at the bottom and behind that. Hold on. Oh, I pulled too many cards again. You have the devil in reverse again. All right. Okay, see, that is um, what could be slowing you down is some form of devil energy. Now, with the wand, I could say magic, like someone's doing dark magic. But I could also say that if you don't release obsessive, negative thoughts and behaviors, you will stay slow. And that's probably why I'm trying to tell you guys that when you release this um, indefinite waiting, will probably speed up. Things will start moving faster. Surrender. Surrender to the process, folks. Also, again, you got the uh, high priestess in the reverse. Some of you guys are not using your intuition. Um, you're not trusting it. You're not trusting it. Either you're not trusting it or, um, again, you know, that's that. that uh, actually, it's jealousy. Because right here, I just pulled the uh, six of wands. You got a victory. You have a victory coming. Trust your intuition definitely if you're not, but um, I'm picking up jealousy because of a victory. A victory that's coming to you. And which is another reason why I told you guys about, you know, if this isn't you, this is somebody. This is again, again, somebody trying to do something to you to slow you down. Okay? If it's a person y'all dealing with this indecision, <laughs> give them up. Like if you're fighting whether or not you want to stay with this person, give them up. 
and start over with the seven of wands in the um, reverse. But um, somebody's jealous of you. This is victory. And I know you're victorious because you're not a pinnacles. You're not a pinnacles. You've been working hard. Look at your work. Look at your work. Okay. Man. All right, guys. Okay. Don't let, um, don't let waiting get the best of you. All right. That's what I got for you. If you want to book a personal reading with me, email me at princeofpeacetarot at gmail.com. Um, oh, no. Sorry, guys. Don't do that. <laughs> if you want to book a personal reading with me, the link to book your personal reading uh, is in the description box below. If you have any questions uh, or concerns, you can email me at princeofpeacetarot at gmail.com. Also, um, the updated playlist for the Patreon is also in the description box below. Um, all right, guys, I'll see you later.